Hello, I'm Marcello Rolando, the Reasonable Voice, thanking you for joining us and becoming one of the reasonable voices heard around the world. Imagine America from 9-11 to standing rock solid. To progress beyond the tragedies of the past is perhaps our greatest challenge and truest testimony to America's greatness. Imagine corporations contributing most to climate change being taxed and tasked with its obstruction. Imagine government skipping vacations to adequately fund public education and research for Alzheimer's, cancers, and Zika cures. Imagine health, pharmaceutical, and insurance industries deserving public trust. Imagine progress is accepting both individual and global accountability for broken treaties, Guantanamo, and refugees fleeing wars. Imagine electing Barack Obama president would end racial discrimination. Exceptionalism is stealing corn and Thanksgiving from Native Americans. Fifteen million American children going to bed without food and our increasingly extreme weather as prologue to food and water wars. Imagine America's progress without the political timing of a Congress grandstanding permission to sue Saudi Arabia, without also considering indicting the Bush-Cheney administration for every member of our military who died, was physically disabled, or mentally and psychologically damaged because of its mushroom cloud deceit. Imagine not being a nation of individuals too often maneuvered into ours not to reason why, ours but to do and die. Perhaps honoring those who tragically lost lives and loved ones fifteen years ago is to be ever more vigilant in questioning those in authority who offer only talking points and clichés. Corporate-owned politicians and media repeat the mantra, America changed forever on September 11, 2001, but have you ever heard a soundbite that suggests why? All of us know suicide is becoming an American epidemic, especially among veterans and millennials. But why? Why rising suicide rates, drug overdoses, community tensions, gun violence? Why our diminished self-certainty and loss of faith in our sustainability? Was it 9-11? or how oil wars for Wall Street profits used 9-11. Is the alt-right a troubling flashback of suppressed memories like Wounded Knee, the 1964 murder of three young civil rights workers, or the 2003 invasion of a country that had nothing to do with 9-11? Listen, Powell and Clinton emails... Wells Fargo sacrificial lambs, fourth estate blood ratings, nor lack of lower expertise can trump our American dream, or ever be the sum total of a single American life. Imagine all American women and all Americans of color never again being the ignored minority. Imagine standing up for who we're for, rather than encouraging free press for what's against our common good. Imagine rising in 2016 to a vantage point from which we can choose to relive our past, mourn our present, or visualize our potential. If we put aside the childish selfishness of anti-American organizations with intentionally deceiving ultra-patriotic sounding names like Americans for Prosperity, American Crossroads, and the Freedom Caucus, then it is perhaps the end of the beginning of the moneyed Coke Hydra targeting the middle third, and all that are responsible for nothing lasts forever. Imagine in September 2016, foothill jocks gently laying orange roses at the feet of cheerleader Ashley Adamance. That's exceptionalism. The Sioux Nation includes nine Native American tribes like the Dakota, Lakota, and Nakota, for whom South Dakota was named, and home long before any pale-faced tourist visited the Badlands. Dakota is the Sioux word for friends or allies. Maybe that's why they didn't demand that new Spanish and English settlers speak Wanapanoag. In November 2016, even in Jamestown, Virginia, 
we are the opportunity to stand up with our vote to include all of the people in we the people all of the time however we can begin right now wherever we are by standing up for clean air and non-privatized lead-free public water free of corporate ownership or municipal pollution imagine reversing the what is past is prologue of slavery relocation centers gender inequality and income disparity by standing up for all american families imagine not eliminating native american culture not enslaving african americans encamping asian americans enclosing lgbtq americans exiling hispanic and latino americans imagine not excluding female americans constitutionally the only true change is to live changed imagine choosing to move forward as we did in selma stonewall and now standing rock join us become one of the reasonable voices heard round the world thank you